so we're out uh, shooting the Ruger Mark IV. This is uh, a pistol I picked up just a couple months back. Very fun to shoot. We're out shooting the uh, the Federal Ammunition Red Box. Uh, it's a 22 LR 36 grain. And uh, we found an issue that we wanted to kind of bring up. So go ahead, Bill. Let's go ahead and put a few rounds out of there. So we're just shooting at a steel target. And I put two or three magazines through the pistol. And we started getting squib loads. Now each time the, the bullet did actually exit the muzzle, but we checked it and we got was we just getting a little puff of smoke and it was I mean it was it was it felt a lot like the uh, it was just a, a primer shot. The uh, lot number on the box is 1SP189. Uh, we actually opened up this box brand new today and uh, we're just starting to take some shots from it. Don't forget to show them the box. Uh, last round was a the last round was a, a short one. It didn't eject. So I wouldn't hold on to that. Did not eject. So we uh, we found that this 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 box has been a mix of uh, uh, cartridges that don't cycle the the uh, misfire. Don't cycle the bolt. That was a misfire. It hit, didn't go off. Or it, 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 or it does just that little puff, little bitty puff of smoke. So we also get a lot of what we just saw there where the cartridge goes off but it doesn't cycle to, cycle to the next round. This is a squib. No, it's not really a squib. Okay. It's just underpowered. Another fail to cycle the bolt. Was that the last round? That was the last round. <laughs> so we're on the third magazine. We haven't actually seen any of the squibs yet, but we're hoping. But what prompted us to stop and make this video was that last magazine that I fired. Yeah, you could see that the slide didn't actually come all the way back on that one. So yeah, I had a magazine of 10, 10 rounds and there was two what we were calling squib shots where the uh, there was just a barely a puff of smoke come out of the end and that was it. Well, at least, at least, the, at least the bolt came back that time. Okay. Okay. Did we see the little puff of smoke come out of the end? Because that's what we're talking about right there. Ejected an empty cartridge. And we cleared the barrel. So the, these rounds are clearing the barrel, but they're just barely making any energy at all. And so that's what we were looking luck. for. Oh, 
pipe on that one. That's the end of the mag. So we had one demonstration of what we're talking about. Let's see if we can get another one. And if you're not... So how come I got one on the very first magazine, Bill? What were you doing wrong? I'm holding my <laughs> mouth wrong. <laughs> You're just wanting to shoot, well, it's your 22, so it doesn't matter anyway, does it? <laughs> yeah, you can shoot all you want. I'd rather shoot them all out here than to take them home and put them in my rifle and screw something up. No, uh, they'll be okay. Now yeah, you're right. I mean, the squib round could get a, could get me or Riley hurt. Well, it's like you have to just shoot, your, shoot this in your pistol. Yeah, I might have to mark this pistol only. All right, so let's try another magazine, see if we can uh, duplicate the, uh, the puff of smoke that we're getting in. There's the underpowered ground. And the magazine. So that one was all okay. So it looks like it's totally luck of the draw when you're picking these rounds out of the box. But we had two out of one, one 10 round magazine, and I've hit. By the time we got two in one magazine, we had had that puff of smoke two or three times before. So it's not as common as we thought maybe it was, but that's an awful lot of underpowered rounds. And when we get that, to me it's a squib round, all we're getting is a bare puff of smoke, no recoil, and the lucky thing so far is the, the slug is clearing the barrel. So um, I don't know if it's this lot, I mean I've shot a lot of this. Uh, federal red box already and I've not really seen this bad a uh, performance so uh, you know whether it's just this lot or I don't know what's going on with it but anyway um, Careful. so guys just take this this little uh, demonstration uh, for what it's worth um, if you're shooting any round any cartridge from any firearm and you just get that really weak recoil and you feel like that 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 uh, there was something wrong with that cartridge stop check the barrel and you might find a, something in there that you don't want to find that is if you if you shoot a squib round and that basically means that there's not enough power to propel the the, the bullet out of the barrel and so if you get a, a bullet stuck in that barrel and you fire another cartridge right behind it, it you could have devastating, disastrous injury and likely destruction of your firearm. So that's when we saw those rounds be behaving so badly, we thought we'd tell you about it. You guys have a good day. Thanks for watching. This is the box that we're using. It's the Federal Red Box. 22 LR, 36 grain hollow points. Um, I've shot a lot of this already. I really like it, and it's uh, relatively inexpensive. So, what are you saying, Bill? Turn it around. Turn it around where? So I can see the lot number. Oh, they're not going to be able to see the lot number on here. It's too small. Right. So again, the lot number on this box is 1SP189.